Some of the most renowned attire you'll find on the silver screen is that of the American Cowboys. Thanks to those Hollywood Westerns, Wild West Cowboy duds have become iconic. But you know, the roots of cowboy clothing trace back to the attire of Mexicans and Spanish conquistadors. Now, a cowboy's getup consists of a set of fundamental pieces. These garments evolved from the practical needs of the job and the unforgiving conditions of life out here in the West. It's these very clothes that have turned the cowboy outfit into a timeless and classic style. The cowboy hat, well, it's likely the most emblematic cowboy gear you can think of. These hats come with a high crown and sport an extra wide brim, slightly curved on the sides. That bends there to shield those cowboys from the scorching sun. Plus, most of them come with a chin strap to make sure they don't go flying away in a gust of wind. Now, what's interesting is that the cowboy hat has its roots down in Mexico and even further back in Spain, tied to the whole horse riding tradition that made its way to the New World. And here's a historical tidbit for you. Before the Mexican-American War, places like California and Texas were part of Mexico. The most famous of these hats was known as the Boss of the Plains, and it was crafted by a fella named John B. Stetson back in 1865. This hat right here went on to become a global sensation, thanks to all them cowboy flicks. A bandana? Well, it's a special kind of handkerchief that cowboys always had handy. You see, these bandanas served a real practical purpose out on the dusty trails. When they were riding or caught up in one of them fierce sandstorms, these trusty pieces of cloth shielded them from all that grit and dust. And when that sun was beating down hard, they'd wrap them round their necks to keep from getting scorched. So you could say, these bandanas were more about keeping comfortable than looking fancy. Now, when it comes to Western cowboys, you can't forget about their boots. These boots are as iconic as that trusty hat they wear. Just like many things in cowboy fashion, these boots got their start with them Spanish jockeys. You see, cowboy boots, they're tall and sturdy to keep them legs protected. They've got a pointy toe, a bit of a heel, just the right fit for them stirrups. And let's not forget them spurs sometimes added for that extra jingle jangle. At first, these boots were crafted from good old cow leather, but as things evolved, they started using other critters like snakes, gators, and even ostriches to make them fancy boots. So, those boots aren't just stylish, they're built for the rodeo. Well, partner, them chaps are a real lifesaver out on the range. The Spanish folks, they came up with these leg protectors to keep their limbs safe from prickly bushes, thorns, and that pesky barbed wire when they were riding around. And wouldn't you know it? Our American cowboys thought they were a mighty fine idea too. Now, these chaps, they're mostly made of good old leather, and the length of them can change depending on where you are. Back in the day, them Mexican chaps, they were made from a leather blanket, held up with a trusty belt, and they covered both legs. Keeps a cowboy's legs safe and sound out there in the wild frontier. Jeans and denim shirts. Now that's a classic cowboy look if I ever saw one. You see, partner, these here outfits became real popular towards the end of the 19th century in the Wild West. Cowboys took a liking to them, and it's been a part of their style ever since. Jeans, they're sturdy and dependable, just what a cowboy needs out on the trail. And them denim shirts, well, they're as tough as a bull in a rodeo. So, when you think of a traditional cowboy outfit, don't forget to tip your hat to them trusty jeans and denim shirts. You betcha, partner. Gloves might not be the flashiest part of a cowboy's getup, but they sure are practical. These gloves are made from soft and flexible leather, just perfect for all the hands-on work a cowboy's gotta do out on the range. Whether it's handling that pesky barbed wire or taking care of the weeds, these gloves keep a cowboy's hands safe and sound. So, while they might not get all the attention, you can't underestimate the importance of a good pair of cowboy gloves. Yep, you're right on the money, partner. That their lasso is a classic cowboy tool. It's a sturdy rope, usually made from leather back in the day, and it's got a slip knot on one end. Cowboys use it for all sorts of things, like wrangling up them critters out on the range. Nowadays, you'll see folks show off their roping skills at rodeos, and let me tell you, handling a lasso is a true art form. It takes a skilled cowboy to use it just right. If we are talking about cowboy wear, how could we forget spurs? These are a mighty important symbol of the cowboy way. Them spurs are like small, serrated wheels shaped like a star, and they get attached right to the heel of a cowboy's boot. They ain't just for show, no siree. 
Cowboys use him to give them subtle signals to their trusty steeds, helping him with them fancy moves and such. Spurs sure do come in handy out there on the open range. You sure know your cowboy gear, partner. That six-shooter at a cowboy's hip is like an extension of their arm, and it's been a symbol of the Wild West for many a year. While Hollywood may make it seem like cowboys were always in shootouts, you're right that most of the time, them guns were there to protect the cattle and keep critters at bay. Nowadays, things might have changed a mite with rifles being more common, but the spirit of the cowboy still lives on. And as for that far west town at O.C.'s Mini Hollywood, sounds like a real hootin' and hollering good time for folks looking to step back into the Wild West. <laughs>